I'm, uh, yeah, thank you, Bill. Uh, I'm Tom Gage. I'm the president and CEO at AC Propulsion. There we go. Good. And we're here at the LA Auto Show, and behind us we've got your uh, AC Propulsion converted uh, Xbox. We call it the E-Box. The E-Box, it's a, uh, Yes, it's a Scion XB from Toyota. We convert it to electric by taking out the engine, gas tank, all the other stuff you don't need putting in a battery in our drive system, and it's a pure electric. Now, I had the opportunity yesterday of driving a BMW Mini Cooper with your drive system in it, and it was a ball, although I did comment to them, I thought they had probably derated that drive just a little bit on it. So tell us, how did that, how did that program come about? How did AC Propulsion get involved? Well, you know, we've been out here with the e-box for several years now and talking to everyone who wants to listen to it, and uh, I had the opportunity to take it to BMW. They have a technology office up in Palo Alto, and I took the e-box over there to show it to them. They drove it. We started talking, and the first talk was, well, I could build you an e-box for your evaluation, and then we talked some more, and we said, well, I could build you a prototype mini electric for your evaluation. And I said, oh, it's going to be 300000 bucks." And they said, oh, we don't know if we have that much money. But one thing led to another after they had driven the e-box, and uh, they came back with a proposal to build 500 electric minis. And uh, we uh, were pretty uh, amazed at that. That's a huge order for us, yeah. more than we've ever built before in our history. Uh, but they were very serious, and we found that out. And uh, we signed the contract in January of this year, and now uh, 500 minis are in production. That's fabulous. Now, you've built how many? And tell us a little bit about the drive systems were obviously originally built here in the United States. You've now moved that offshore, so or give us some, bring us up to speed on that. Yes, uh, we uh, started a factory in Shanghai, China about two years ago, uh, starting low volume production. And what they do, it's a factory that we own and we employ the workers there. And uh, they build the components for us, ship them to San Dimas, where our uh, headquarters is located, and we assemble and test the units there. And this was going on, we were building a few units a month, uh, no more than 10 a month, uh, when this program came around. So we ramped up in Shanghai, we ramped up in San Dimas, and at our peak, we produced uh, 60 units in one week. Wow, fabulous. So how much of that 500 order have you completed at this point? We've shipped number 500. Number and 500, uh, okay. the 500th car will be assembled in Munich uh, either this month or early next month. Okay, now you're using batteries, you said, from Taiwan. These are lithium ion. Tell us a little bit about the battery. Pack. Yeah, these are the batteries that we've assembled from small cells. It's called an 18650 cell. It's 18 millimeters in diameter and 65 millimeters long, same as used in laptops. We buy these by the thousand and assemble them in uh, modules, and then modules are assembled, connected in series to form the pack. So uh, BMW liked this approach too. It gives you a very good light battery at a relatively moderate cost. So they commissioned us to produce these same modules for them, and that's what's in the Mini. Okay, well, that's 5,000, they were saying something plus? 5,088 cells to be exact. So how do you, how do you handle quality control so that you don't have hiccups further down the road? Well, you just have to be careful. The cells are very, are very highly uh, produced, very carefully monitored, very high quality in the cells themselves. And then the assembly process is something we've developed over the last three or four years, and it's really just a matter of monitoring each individual connection, and then the modules themselves contain battery monitoring equipment so that the voltage and temperature are monitored at a level sufficient to identify any problems that may develop down the road. Um, I should point out that uh, these, these cells and these assembly techniques are really very similar to what's used in a laptop battery. It's just the number of cells involved that's much higher. Right. So the vehicles now, the, the last have been, what are you looking for? Anything now beyond that, now that you've got that 500 under your belt? Well, we're continuing to work with BMW, and we will be for the next year as they put these cars out onto the road. They'll all be uh, launched in, in 2009 in both California, in the Los Angeles area, and in uh, New York, New Jersey metro area. Um, so we're going to be standing by to provide any kind of service warranty support that may be needed. At the same time, we've signed a license agreement with Yulon Group in Taiwan. Uh, it's a company that's been building cars for Nissan under license, and they're launching their own brand, the LuxGen, and they want to have electric propulsion as a part of that brand. So uh, we're just getting started in that program. Okay, that's excellent. So, it, it's, so it's been a, la a good last couple of years for you. You've gone from eating pizza to eating steak now, or? 
<laughs> well, now I'm eating all the free food here at the auto oh, okay. show. That's, that's about as good as you can get. But uh, yeah, it has gotten better. And really the big difference from when we got started, it was all about clean air. And, and that was an important topic, but it didn't really resonate with, with the people and with the market and with the car makers. Uh, then global warming, CO2 emissions started to get more people's attention, and then recently gas prices and, and specifically petroleum dependency and national security, those are issues that resonate on both sides of the political spectrum. So that's really what's turned things around. Okay. And even now the gas price is down again, I don't think it's going to turn around. I think people are, are they understand the situation. Now. Right. now, are you still doing conversions? Are people, are you open to doing that? or? Are, are as the, 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 the more enticing uh, you know, projects like BMW and the, and the Taiwanese company more, more interest to you now? Well, you know, we, we still want all the business we can get. We don't do one-off conversions for customers. Those are just too uh, time-consuming and expensive, but we're continuing to build the e-box. We'll, we start with a used Scion XB and convert it, and uh, we've got a fair amount of customers for those lined up. And really our big push now is to move forward with V2G, and you can see that on our fender here. V2G stands for Vehicle to Grid, and it's the concept where vehicles plug in to charge, but they can also interact with the grid in ways that help support the grid, make it operate more efficiently, and the car actually gets paid for doing that. So using V2G is a way to reduce the cost of operation and ownership of an electric car. Okay, very good. Anything new that you want to announce while we're here then? Uh, no new announcements. The okay. Mini-E is it. That's the, the big thing. That's the big one. That's the big and one. That's a great one. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Okay.